Okay, so we're starting with the new default level. Right, where well we've got this piece of solid uh, static mesh floor sitting in the middle of the, the, the sky, whatever. Okay, select the mesh, backspace, delete it. Go to modes, BSP, box, bring in a box. And I've got, wait a minute, before I do that, select this editor by clicking on the background, set my snap to 50, something high. Now drag in the BSP box, stick it right in the middle, like that. Boom, it snaps to the grid. Okay, now we're going to build the room this time by putting four walls on a floor. Okay, so with the box selected, go to details and we'll make it 2000 by 2000 for the um, X and Y axis. Okay, so there it is two, two, oop, oop, 2000 by 2000, right? And then the depth, Z, we're going to make 400. So it's got a 400 deep floor. Boom, there it is. Build it. There's our block, like a block floor, 400 deep. Okay, this is it looking down from the top. Okay, next, back to modes BSP. Okay, again with the snap still set to something high, 50. Here's the floor from front view and side view. That's the top of the thick floor. So I bring this box in and snap it to the top of that floor like that so it's sitting on top of the floor exactly right and then with it selected we're going to make it this way you need to look at the axis red is across here which is x so x we're going to make it 2000 the same as the floor uh, come on two uh, two one two three two thousand there it is look two thousand okay just bring that across snap it so it's snapped to the sides of the box floor then we're going to make it um, we're looking down from the top here the y-axis the green axis the width of our wall we're going to make it 50 like that okay and the height of our wall the z-axis uh, the uh, we're going to make um, 400 like that okay now we've got to do is get it lined up okay so first of all Got to line it up on one side of the box. So I bring it up there, snap it to one side of that box. When you make anything 50, then the snap, if the snap's set to 50, if you make anything 50 wide or a division of 50 or 50 at the end of it, like 450, 250, 150, then it won't snap at the resolution of 50. We need to slap, snap that line, the outer edge of our wall, to the edge of the box floor. Let's reduce this to 5 and then it will snap. There it is, right on the money. Okay, then put this back to 50. And then up here, side and top view, we need the bottom of our wall here to be stuck on the top of our floor. This is our big thick box floor. So get the wall, bring it up, and snap the bottom of the wall exactly. And there it is, look, there's the wall right on the edge of the box, right across from one side to the other. Build. There it is, there's one wall. You can, you can build a wall on a floor like that and you don't have to carve a room out but I'm just showing you the other way of doing it okay so now we want this wall on the other side of the the box right so the snap's still at 50 hold down alt I've got the wall selected here in top view hold down alt drag a copy of that wall off snap it to the other side build right now we've got a wall on each side right now we've got to put the walls I'm going to wait for this navigation build to finish. Now we've got to put a wall this side and the far side. Okay, so what we do is in top view here. There's one of the walls selected on the north and south of the room, or whatever you want to call it, right? Looking down from the top here. Alt, drag a copy off, like that. Then we switch here to rotate. We're looking down from the top here, so we can rotate our wall round so it's going along this axis instead. The rotate snap here is set to 45 degrees. I'll bring it around, snap, snap, like that. Okay, then come out of rotate snap, drag it across. We need to snap this outer edge of the wall with the edge of the box floor. All right, so let's just zoom in. All right, and then again to do that, we're gonna to have to reduce the snap down to 50, oh, five rather, bring it in snap 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 there it is right on the edge okay now the thing is this this wall we've just copied and rotated along this to go along this side 
it's the same length as the, the walls on this side and this side and we want it to fit in between these walls right so we're gonna have to make it's looking down from here the green the length is the y-axis we're gonna have to make the y shorter so it's not as long so it fits between the inside of this wall and the inside of this wall along this edge now these walls are both 50 the overall length of the box is uh, each side is 2000 so we need to reduce the length of this wall which is 2000 by two fifties which is a hundred so I'm going to make it 1900 boom like that and then we need to snap it so reduce this put this to 10 let's try it at 10 no 10 won't quite do it 5 come on Oh, come on there it is it snapped exactly to the inside of that wall and at that end snapped exactly to the inside of that wall look there okay zoom out build there's the wall on that side and now finally we just set the snap to 50 with this wall selected alt just zoom in Alt, drag a copy, snap it to the other side, right on the line for the for the side of the box. Build. Now we've got the same thing, we've got a four-sided room. That's how you build walls and set them up like that in a basic sense, right? But you see how much easier it was to use a block and carve in the previous video to make a block and carve an inner block out of it and you get the four walls built for you automatically, right? You can do it like that, okay? Um, and then we could carry on and build it the same as the other one. We could put a pit in the middle, etc. Blah blah blah. That's how you do the wall thing. Now, if let's say we want to make, let's make a little inner room. So what I'm going to do is Alt, drag one of these walls into the middle like that. Let's say there, um, there, like that. Now, the green line is the y-axis. So let's make it y, um, the y. Axis, what am I talking about? The y axis is 50. Um, oh, but I rotated this, didn't I? Show, um, we, this is currently 1900 in length. Let's make it 600 in length, like that. And um, snap it to, let's see, what have we got? One, how many blocks have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks from one side to the other to snap of 50. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That red line's the middle, so let's get this in the middle. There, like that. Okay, then Alt, drag a copy off, like that. We'll put that one there, and then Alt, drag a copy off, rotate it, like that, bring that across, and now we need to get that inside these two walls like that. Okay, so, just get the length, let's try 800. I need this wall to fit inside these two walls, so 800 isn't enough. Let's make it 900. 900 is too much. Let's try 850. 850 is exactly right. Okay, look, that wall is now, the end of this wall is in exactly on the inside of the two outer walls. And we just got to bring it in, snap it so its end is, its, its edge here is level with the end of each of those walls. Snap is too high, let's put it to five. Bring it up like that, snap it like that, that's done. Go back to a snap of 50, bring this across, Alt, drag off a copy, and there's a wall at the other end. Now we've made four inner walls. There they are. An inner room. Build. There it is. We've got an inner room there now, right? Okay, so you kind of build walls like that. Drag them around, make them the right length, fit them together. So we've got this inner room like that. Now if you want to make a door into that room, 
whoops, if you want to make a door into that inner room, we need to use, use subtraction. So this is what we do. Go back here, modes, box, snap is still, still set to 50. So looks, looking at it from the front here, right, okay, um, there's one of the side walls. There's the inner wall vertical, inner wall vertical looking from the front. Okay, so that's the uh, floor there. Okay, so we get this box, and we bring it in, and we'll snap it onto the floor like that. Okay, there it is, you can see on the 3D map here, it's outside the box actually. So let's zoom and look at the top view. There's our box. We're gonna, I'm gonna put a door here in the inner wall. Okay, so come on, we're gonna bring this box in like that. There. Okay, now this box is on the floor. If we look in the perspective view here, let's zoom in. Look in this perspective view, there's our box. It's sitting on the floor. It's it's going through that wall. Okay, but we want it to be the same width as the wall. All right. So green should be the one. The box is selected. Um, Green is Y, so if I make Y the same width as the wall, which is 50, like that, and then we just snap that. Again, we're going to have to reduce the snap to 5 probably to do this, but there's the wall. And bring this so it's right in, in the middle of the wall, like that. There it is, right in the middle of the wall. There, see that? There. There. Now just finally let's do the height for it. Let's make it Z height 300. Okay, and then just check that it's still on the floor, level with the bottom of the wall. No, it's not now. There's the bottom of the wall there. There's our block, the same width as the wall. Bring that up, snap it to the bottom of the wall like that. Okay, see it there in the 3D view here? Look, there it is. It's on the floor. It's exactly the same width as the wall and it's sitting in the middle of the wall. Of this this thing. Now we make that subtractive build and it carves out a door. There you go, and you've got a door there now. Look. Yeah. Now we can go in and out of that central room. So that's how you basically make a door. And the window's the same, but you just don't have the window meet the floor. If you want the window to be. Come on, if you want. Come on. If you want the window to be in the middle of a wall, you just raise it. You raise the bottom of it up. You know, this this is a door though, so it's sitting, it's sitting on the bottom of the floor, level with the floor. Let's go in and have a look. There's my inner room. Four walls in the middle. There's a door I can go into this. And out of it. Okay. Time to escape to release that. Okay, so that's that basics to kind of make walls, straight walls that is. Okay, and let's end the video there and move on.